Hey there folks, how you doing today? Alright, so this is day two of my 30 day video and vlogs challenge basically. Uh, so today what I wanted to talk to you all about was um, there seems to be this issue of the pressures of being a YouTuber and YouTuber problems supposedly, okay? And um, I just wanted to share a couple of thoughts about it, all right? Um, <clears throat> originally, I saw this video by a guy named Casey Neistat, which Casey, you know, his videos are, you know, really, 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 really great. And I love his work. Um, and he's, you know, very honest about what he has to say. Um, also, too... Uh, there's been a couple of people that also who are YouTubers have responded to this or have done videos that are similar to this, okay? And um, and I just felt like I wanted to chime in um, as far as what's going on. So basically, um, I'm just going to say that Anytime, and I think I've said this in a previous video, but I'm just going to say this. Anytime you put yourself on YouTube, okay, um, and especially if you've left the comments um, to be open to anybody, um, then that's exactly what's going to happen. You know, you have to accept the fact that you're going to get comments, good and bad, <clears throat> uh, excuse me, from you know, for more different people. Um, sometimes you'll even have people who are going to respond, like what I'm doing right now, okay? Uh, and we're, you know, we're just sharing our opinion. And, um, and so, you know, everybody, you know, has an opinion. And uh, it is what it is, right? Some opinions are unfortunately a little bit more influential than others. But at the same time, even if you have an opinion, that does not mean that what you're saying is right. I think, you know, when you have an, when people have an opinion, including myself, um, you know, it's subject to discernment of how people feel that that's right and that's wrong and things like that. All right. Um, the other thing I would just like to say is the unfortunate part about being a YouTuber is that in as much as you know you would like to do videos uh, that you would hope that the masses would enjoy um, or at least that's the goal um, unfortunately you cannot please everyone and so you know that kind of ties into the very thing that you know, Casey was, you know, talking about when you have these haters that respond or sometimes, you know, just when you think you're doing a video and it's supposed to be meaning this and then somebody responds in a way that kind of goes the opposite and you kind of feel like you have to defend yourself. Um, unfortunately, that's just the nature of the beast that you have to deal with. You know, because the point is, is that you put yourself out there, right? And so the same works with if you're on Facebook, if you're on Instagram, you know, any kind of social media uh, where you put yourself out there in some way, form or fashion, whether it's a picture, whether it's you typing out your feelings or your words, and especially if there is, it's open to uh, public opinion, then that's what comes with it, right? Now, there's some of it, you know, that you can control where, you know, you can take out, you know, the negative parts and just leave in the positive parts. But uh, the parts that you cannot control is if somebody decides, well, you know, I want to do some feedback on that. Um, even though sometimes you can reach out and you could say, hey, listen, can you take that down? And they can decide to take it down or not. But then again, in certain cases, you might have to take legal recourse where uh, it needs to be taken down. So that's understandable as well. Um, but anyways, so.
so um, speaking of YouTuber problems, you know, in a perfect world, uh, of course, I would love for all of my videos, including this one right now, to not only reach millions, but to be able to have to be able to reach out to you know the masses where a whole lot of people is going to subscribe, and you know we can do the perfect this tags you know, titles and all this stuff that they suggest this is what you need to do. But the reality of it is this, is that it takes time. And unfortunately, with the nature of the beast, to put it that way, you know, it just takes that one video uh, to pick up the momentum so that, you know, more people will start watching, more people will start subscribing, liking, commenting, and all that good stuff. Um, and until that happens, you just have to keep at it. You just have to be consistent, you know. And so that's part of my 30-day, you know, challenge is to basically see from the first time I've started the 30-day challenge to the end of the 30-day challenge is to see how much progress I have made um, and also that will let me know maybe I need to change up something maybe I need to do something different or maybe I need to do more of or less of or whatever it is um, and you know that kind of lets me know uh, how to make the changes and how to make certain things better anyways so another uh, YouTuber problem is this is and especially for smaller YouTubers you know it used to be where if let's say um, you had a certain amount of views um, on, on your channel per se uh, you were eligible for AdSense and so with AdSense that means that you know, videos like ads and sometimes, you know, movie trailers and, you know, anything of that sort, um, you know, gets to be played as a pre-roll before your video starts. And now that um, YouTuber, YouTube, excuse me, has gone through so many changes, you know, in the past couple of, you know, months, uh, and they've had to, you know, revise a lot of things in as well. But anyways, but now it's gotten to the point where you have to have at least a thousand subscribers and four thousand views, meaning four thousand actual watch time of views in order to qualify for the AdSense. So, you know, when it comes to smaller YouTubers like myself, that means we don't have to work twice as hard to get to that point. That means we have to work a hundred times hard to get to that point. And so to go back to the whole issue that Casey Neistat and all the other YouTubers were talking about, you know, sometimes that kind of makes you feel like, man, you know, why am I doing this? I might as well quit. You know what I mean? Because in order for me to get to that point of getting paid off of AdSense, I have to work a hundred times harder. And some people just may not feel like doing that. Some people, as far as they're concerned, you know, they don't want to work that hard, you know, just to get paid, you know. But then again, uh, having said that, you know, the whole idea of YouTube originally was to just be able to video, you know, yourself doing things that you like or you love or whatever it is that you want to do you know and you just put it out there because you love doing it and that was the original purpose you know what I mean and it was only until you know the whole idea of the AdSense and making money came into play that people thought okay well you know why not make it into a business where I can make money you know what I mean and make an income and there are some people who have made a success and eventually grown into that point where they are making money and they're getting all kinds of perks and things like that, you know, because they've worked their way up to that point, you know, and that's great. But having said that, because of the way it is now, um, 
you know, it's, it's, it's not as easy as some people would think. So again, you have to work, uh, you know, a hundred times harder to get to that point. You, you see what I'm saying? And unless you have that one video that has gone viral and has blown up and, you know, it's, you know, making some serious noise and it's drawing attention, then maybe you stand a chance. But until then, you know, things are going to remain the same. You know, it's going to be a very slow climb, almost at a, you know, at, at, at a snail's pace, you know. So, anyways, so that's just my uh, opinion about, you know, YouTuber problems um, generally. And so, anyways, so I just wanted to share that with y'all. So if you feel that you have YouTuber problems or you feel like, you know, you have a solution or anything of that nature, tell you what, leave me a comment down below, all right? And let me know about your YouTuber problems. Let me know what you're feeling about the pressures of being a YouTuber. Let me know your thoughts. You know, I, I would like to know. Let's get a discussion. So other than that, Please subscribe to my channel, like this channel, share this with your family and your friends, and as always, leave a comment. Let's get a discussion going, all right? And I'll see you on the next one. One love.